Whether you're a substitute, your job isn't actually to teach. Then what is it? Well, to keep the kids from burning the school down before the other teacher gets back. <laughs> no, normally you'd be right, but this class knows that I'm filling in for the whole semester. And I must say, it's really nice having the same class every day and watching them grow and learn. And of course, they're not trying any of that usual substitute shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I forgot all about your tutoring session. Well, that's okay. We were just finishing. Hi, Blanche. You look pretty. You should see me if I had earrings. <laughs> <laughs> so what are y'all doing? Oh, well, we just finished algebra. Why do I have to learn algebra? Because I had to learn how to teach it. <laughs> and now I'm just checking the grammar in Mario's story for his English class. This is really terrific. It's mm. not terrific. It's just okay. It is much better than okay. Blanche, I want you to listen. Oh, don't read it. You're gonna embarrass me. All right, I'll, I'll just read it from there to there, okay? If you only read it from there to there, you'll miss the spirit of the whole piece. Take it from here. <laughs> the very first night he was in America, his uncle took him to a movie. He felt more excited than he ever had in his whole life watching that movie because of the feeling he got sitting in that theater with all those other people, laughing together, getting scared together. He felt like those people were his friends. To him, that feeling was the feeling of living in America. In America, you always felt like you were among friends. Mario, that's just beautiful. You should hear it when I read it. <laughs> hi, Rose. Oh, hi, Mario. How about a nice snack? Sure, I'm starving. How about a nice herring salad sandwich on raisin bread? <laughs> oh, wow, I'm gonna miss my bus. <laughs> that bus doesn't leave till... See you tomorrow. Bye, Rose, Blanche. Adios, Teach. Hasta mañana. I wonder if I should submit his story in the district contest. I think you should. Oh, he's a very special kid, Dorothy. Oh, he really is. I'm just crazy about him. He wants so much to learn. You know, he gets this look in his eyes when he's listening to me. You don't see that look very often. I think that that look is the whole reason that teachers teach. Of course, there's a similar look that means I'm gonna slash your tires. <laughs> but an experienced teacher can tell the difference. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please take your seats. Uh, Jorge Vega, Michael Fetchick, Jim Shue, Jim Shue. <laughs> oh, I get it, Jim Shue. Very funny. Excuse me, I am Jim Shue. <laughs> Sorry, I, I thought you were pulling my leg. <laughs> I don't think I could drink that much sake. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Maria Gianelli, Rose Nylon, Rose, not Rose Nylon. <laughs> Rose, what are you doing here? Dorothy, I have a confession to make. I slipped through the cracks of the St. Olaf school system. Oh, it's very hard to believe. I've seen you almost complete a TV Guide crossword puzzle. It's true. You're looking at a woman without a sheepskin. I've got an extra in my wallet I could give you. <laughs> no, thanks. I'd rather earn it. <laughs> You never graduated from high school? Not officially. I, three weeks before graduation, I was asked to be in the kissing booth at the Founders Day Fair. Unfortunately, the first boy I kissed had a nasty case of mono. Well, that afternoon, I passed it along to 50 young men. <laughs> and one very confused female PE teacher who smelled of Old Spice. <laughs> I slept day and night for the next six months, and when I finally woke up, I had missed my graduation and the integration of Major League Baseball. <laughs> Rose, I, I'm very sorry, but honey, you cannot stay in this class. Oh, please, Dorothy. I've secretly dreamt of getting a high school diploma for years, but I never had the courage to do it. Now, with you teaching, I finally feel comfortable enough to give it a try. Oh, all right, all oh. right. You can stay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, everybody, if you will turn to page five. And yes, Rose? Aren't you forgetting something? What? 
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. Rose, I have a little surprise for you. Cookies and milk. <laughs> Oh, my God, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. You only do nice things for me when something terrible has happened. Rose, you failed the history test. What does that mean? It means you got more wrong than right. <laughs> I know that. I didn't fail math. I was talking about the bigger picture. It means you won't get your diploma. Yeah? Well, you have a big behind. <laughs> Oh, Rose, Rose, please, let's try to keep this at an adult level. And if you want to talk behinds, they could show how the West was won on yours. I can't believe this. I'm sorry, Rose, but I have to grade you like everybody else. Well, look, Dorothy, you made a mistake. I got that question right. Uh, Rose, the question was, who was the leader of the Third Reich? You wrote Fritz Stickelmeyer, your high school history teacher. The correct answer is Adolf Hitler. Where's my history book? Oh. Is this the man we're talking yes, about? Yes, that is Adolf Hitler. You can call him whatever you want, but that's Fritz Stickelmeyer. <laughs> I'm as sure of that as I am that's Ava Braun standing next to him. You recognize Ava Braun? Well, sure, she was our high school PE teacher. <laughs> It was rumored she used to date Mr. Stickelmeyer. Rose, that's it. I, I just can't take any more. With this question right, you have a D minus. Uh, Rose, you're a high school graduate. Oh, boy! Sophia! Sophia, I'm a high school graduate. Congratulations, now you can get any job involving a cardboard hat. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Dorothy, you're home from school. Oh, Ma, do you realize you've said the same thing to me just that way ever since I was in the third grade? That's sweet. It's not sweet. It's pathetic. <laughs> 52 years, and he never stopped off anywhere. <laughs> Get a life. <laughs> so did you teach anybody anything today? Well, I tried, but it seems none of the kids are interested in learning how to diagram sentences. I really don't get it. I mean, I'm, am I the only one who thinks diagramming sentences is fun? You talk like this on dates, don't you? <laughs> Dorothy, you're a substitute. Your job isn't actually to teach. Then what is it? But to keep the kids from burning the school down before the other teacher gets back. <laughs> No, normally you'd be right, but this class knows that I'm filling in for the whole semester. And I must say, it's really nice having the same class every day and watching them grow and learn. And of course, they're not trying any of that usual substitute shenanigans. <laughs> Is that kick me hard sign a fascist statement? <laughs> Another one? Uh, no, this isn't what you think. No, this isn't because I'm a substitute. This is because I am flunking the star of the football team, and he's not going to be able to play on Saturday. Oh, what a relief. I thought you were the brunt of a joke. <laughs> Turns out they really hate you. <laughs> Dorothy, why don't you pass the kid so he can play? I doubt if the Canterbury Tales is going to come up in a huddle. <laughs> I agree, Dorothy. Saturday's game was a big one. And speaking as a former cheerleader and ex-bad girl in a health film... Now, look, I want you both to know that I don't enjoy failing anybody, especially this kid. But he's lazy. In his book report on A Tale of Two Cities, he said he liked them both, but he really prefers Minneapolis, because that's where Prince is from. <laughs> Doorbell. <laughs> Uh, morning, Miss Bornack. Uh, can we come in? Well, I don't know, Kevin. Can you? Uh, may we come yes, in? Yes, of course you may. Please, come right in. I don't know what just happened here, but it didn't sound like it deserved an F. <laughs> it's because Kevin is not an F student. Look, it's not that I'm lazy, Miss Bornack. I'm just really busy with ball. I, I wanted to read A Tale of Two Cities, but I didn't have the time. Yeah, well, that was my fault, Kevin, for interrupting the high school experience with a book. 
Hey, you didn't know. <laughs> Kevin, what are you gonna do when you're out in the world competing with young men who have applied themselves? Like Ralph Zaldin, you know, the boy whose underpants you turned into a hat yesterday after school? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sorry, Mrs. Barnack, but uh, Ralph Zaldin's a geek. Oh, a student pays attention, works hard, gets good grades. Does that make him a geek? Uh, no, that makes him a dork. Uh, <laughs> a geek is more like, you know, somebody with no friends, stays home every Saturday night, knows always buried in a book. One word out of you and I cut off your supply of Metamucil. <laughs> Look, Kevin, the reason you're in this trouble is because you have not been working up to your ability. I'll tell you what. If you can spare me two evenings a week, I'll give you an incomplete in English and tutor you privately until you can pass the whole course. And that way you'll be eligible to play tomorrow. Fine, fine. Well, as soon as football season's over. Young man, this woman is doing you a favor. She's taking time from her own busy schedule. They don't know you have no life. <laughs> Kevin, no dice. You take it or leave it. These are my terms. Look, Coach, you told me if I was nice to her, she'd roll over. I'm out of here. If you want to win tomorrow, it's up to you. Kevin! Life gets tough outside of the driver's ed car, doesn't it, Coach? Hey, look, Spornak, I'm going to do whatever I have to do to make sure that Kevin plays in that game. If you don't want to make it easy on us, fine. But you're not going to stop us. I guarantee you that boy will be playing. Well, at least I stood up for my principles. This is the proudest I've been of you in my whole life. Thanks, Ma. Can you believe it? My whole life, and this is the proudest I've ever been. <laughs> I'm depressed. I need a cookie. Come in. Oh, no. You're not a substitute nurse, too, are you? I'm sorry about your knee. You know, you wouldn't have been blindsided if you'd stayed in the pocket. You know football? I know everything. <laughs> ah, I see some people have already signed your cast. Uh, yeah, some of the guys from the team. Uh, are you signing it? Yeah, correcting it. <laughs> uh, there is no K in victory. Oh, yeah, and we'll just uh, change this to Miss Bornack eats... Shiitake mushroom. Listen, if you're feeling guilty about not influencing my life, don't. People have been trying to get me to be serious for years. Well, we made a deal. You promised me that I could tutor you once football season was over, and it looks like it is. Yeah, but this isn't exactly fair. I can't move. I know, I know. It'll be like teaching fish in a barrel. <laughs> Shall I begin? Do I have a choice? Well, you could push the call button, but I'll be done with a book by the time the nurse gets here. <laughs> so, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Good stuff, huh? <laughs> it was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epic of belief. It was the epic of incredulity. It was the season of light. <laughs> 